I don't know, but today feels like Friday already. I think it's probably because I worked yesterday. Let's get into this, guys. Every day is no end Since I was told that you don't want me Baby, you're just calling You know I try to hold on to when I saw you move so like I mentioned, everything's kind of all miscombobulated now because uh, I I worked yesterday, so now my days are all mixed up. Today feels like uh, today feels like Friday because yesterday was supposed to be Thursday, but it's really not because today is actually Thursday, not Friday. But it is what it is, guys. We're putting in six days this week, and that's what happens when you are a business owner or a grinder guys you have to you know, it doesn't have to be necessarily have to be a business owner you got to be a grinder if you get up every single day and want to earn some money and make money and make as much as possible then you got to wake up with the right mindset the right mindset that you know what every day is a grind day every day every day you got to get up and go down there and and grind that grind and grind and grind and by grind i mean work just repetitive motions over and over until you become excellent at what you do and you only do that by doing reps you have to do as many haircuts as you can watch as many videos always keep an open mind keep a mindset that you're never you never learn everything you need to learn there's always more to learn and as long as you keep that mindset like that guys you will be productive and you will earn a lot of money doing this business but you have to have that mindset you have to develop it you have to build it up um, you know, and, and, and it starts right now. It starts right now that you're young. Right now that you guys are you young guys out there getting started in your business, getting started in your careers in this business, and you need to grind hard every day and have a positive attitude, you know? This morning I woke up and there was a there was a list of ten things that every barber needs to do that's starting out. You know? It, 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 ten things, you know, and these ten things, you know, they they it, it, it's extremely extremely important i'm gonna post them up right here read those and follow those rules right there guys and if you follow those rules guarantee you you'll make it in this business you will make it in this business um i'm headed to the shop right now i'm about to get started on this day um not too many appointments today you know even though it's a you know it's thursday not as not as many appointments as i did yesterday on wednesday that's for sure yesterday i had like five lined up in the morning today i only got like two so it's all good though i'm gonna walk in just do all the walk-ins that i can and, and just grind through it guys so I'm head to the shop right now you started on this day i brought my 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 uh i brought my memory card today so we will be filming with the camera all right guys so stay tuned so let's talk hyperlapse videos, guys. Hyperlapse videos. Hyperlapse video is a video of you doing a, your work, showing people that you know how to cut hair. That, that's how what I call my hyperlapse videos. And hyperlapse just means that you're speeding it up and making it faster. So a haircut that normally takes 30 minutes, you're speeding it up. And you know, if you're on Instagram, you want to show it off in one minute. So you're you're speeding it up that much more, okay? So, there's two ways of making hyperlapse videos, guys. If you have on your phone, when you go to your camera setting, on your camera setting, it should, you should be able to slide, especially if you have an Android, you should be able to slide your camera over and there's a setting for slow motion and hyperlapse. Hyperlapse is cool on camera because what it does is it speeds up the filming. So you, your film, your, your, your video of 20 minutes they'll make it into a four minute video you know and, and then you could take that video into your editing software and speed it up that much faster shorten it speed it up because on, on it depends on what you're using for your editing software uh, if you're on Android I suggest getting power director it's inexpensive and it's really good and I can help you with it uh, if you're on iPhone then I would suggest using the iMovie that's on your phone that's a really good software already so you don't even need to get anything else but that's where you transfer those videos that hyperlapse video into that software and speed it up and then add a beat or song to it and that's what a hyperlapse video is it's that simple but the other way of doing it which how I do it if I do if I use my good camera what I do is I create files. I create, uh, um, I'll start on one side of the haircut and do a, 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 a part of the haircut, film it, and stop it. 
So I make individual individual shots in each film, each each shot. So I'll go. I would start on one side, move to the other side to where the better angle is this side, and then I'll import all those clips into my Power Director, set them up how I want, speed up each one into its shorter video, and that'll create usually like a a, a thirty minute haircut, or, or I'll turn it into a three and a half minute haircut. And, and um and on some shots on some clips i'll even i'll even zoom in or zoom out or on some of them i'll slow it down so it looks like it's going a slow motion so there's many many ways of doing it and then now i add a lot of transitions transitions is from clip to clip there's a little spot where you could do your transition which could be a, a flip it could be fading in fading out there's so many things it's, it's a limited amount of of ways that you could edit the video um me myself i've already done hundreds of these guys so i'm quick with it already i i could do a hyperlapse video in in, in probably 30 minutes 35 minutes <laughs> Okay guys, so now you've seen the way I do the hyperlapse, how I filmed it, I'm showing it to you right now, just, you guys just got done seeing a clip of how um, I have my camera, I have my monopod right in front of me, I have it on my, 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 um, my, my monopod with my phone, and what I'm doing is I'm switching from side to side. You guys can see what I'm doing. I, that, that's how I do it. I'll get one angle here, stop the video, go over here, stop another video. Just keep going from side to side to get the better angles. Do the haircut, try to finish it as, po as fast as possible without... Um, you know, I don't do this with every customer, guys. I do this with my best customers. The customers that I know that I could trust, that they're, they're, they're not going to get offended, they're not going to get irritated. If I see a customer that's all about the business, I won't even ask them about doing videos they're not going to care about that there's customers they don't even want to be on social media so you always have to take that into account think of the customers that want to be on social media that don't mind being on instagram or youtube because if that it does this does not work so you you have to decide for the, the client that will be willing to let you do this and i always ask you mind if I film this? If they ask me, yeah, okay, I'm gonna do a hyperlapse, I'm gonna do this. Sometimes I'll bust out the camera. If I bust out the camera, it's a different story because the camera is a, a, a totally different thing. So, I don't want this video to drag on forever. You guys seen the way I do it already, okay? You already seen my monopod. 
you seen the way I use it with my camera. I'm gonna show you guys a, a quick video after this, or, or you probably already seen it, of what my setup looks like, because you've seen it in the video before. But I'm gonna show you guys now how I edit my videos. Keep this in mind that I'm gonna do it quickly, guys. I'm not gonna take forever explaining everything to you guys. I'm gonna use PowerDirector. Every editing software is pretty much the same. Keep this in mind, when you get an audit editing software like PowerDirector, what I'm gonna do is import all these files into the PowerDirector, line them all up. They're already numbered because they're numbered when you do the file, when you, when you videotape them, okay? So if you do the video all in, in sequence, the video should all be there in a row, okay? So all I do is drop the video in, drop each video in, and then what I do is I speed up every video. So that way the, the whole video is shortened up into one smaller video, and then I add music to it. But I'm explaining it to you guys before I show you guys right now how I'm gonna do this. I'm hoping this works out good, but I'm thinking this is gonna be one of my best videos, guys. I hope you guys take advantage of this because I'm telling, I'm telling you guys, this stuff works, okay? Check it out. Okay guys, this is my phone right here, just to show you guys. What I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use Power Director, okay? So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna find my Power Director, start it up, okay? The Power Director doesn't work this way, it works this way, okay? Make sure we can see this good, okay, before we continue. Okay guys, here we are on Power Director. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new project. Okay, my projects I label I label them usually by the next vlog number. So mine's 127, so I'm just gonna name it 127. Mind you guys, every every most of these are, are the same uh 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 iMovie. If you're using iPhone, you're gonna use the iMovie guys, so keep this in mind, okay? So this is my my pattern right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop all the vlog all the clips that I did today which are right here under my camera, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop. There was a couple of them, okay? So start right here with this kid, okay? So we're gonna drop that one first, drop it in there, okay? It's a small one. Drop the next one. Drop the next one. Drop the next one. And I go on and on, guys. I'm just going on and on, in all in a row. See, these are all the same ones for the same haircut. So I'm just dropping them in there. And this is the same thing you do with iMovie, guys. You're gonna just drop all those in there. Okay, so now we know that the movie is a total of, the haircut took me a total of 34 minutes to do, okay? 34 minutes according to this, okay? So if I wanna see what it looks like, I gotta go right here and I can start seeing it, see? Right here's the end of the haircut. So now, I know it's 34 minutes, that's exactly the way it looks, that's the end of the video right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click this, it's highlighted, and then I'm gonna go right here, and I'm gonna speed up the video. And I'm gonna speed it up eight times. See that? See that? It shows that it speeded it up eight times. Now I'm gonna go, oops, I'm gonna go to the next clip, same thing, and I'm gonna speed it up eight times more again. And you gotta do that for every single clip. Remember, the whole video was 34 minutes long. So now I go to the next one, Let's speed it up again. Now the video is just getting shorter and shorter because I'm sp I'm speeding up everything eight times. So just figure it out. If the video is 33 minutes long and you speed it up eight times, your video should be about four minutes long, I would say. That's my guesstimation. So I'm just going down the line and getting every single video See, I'm showing it right there. That's how fast it's gonna move. That's the next clip. I'm gonna do the same thing, speed it up.
Guys, this is what I do all day long right here. This is how I promote my business, guys. This is how you show that you know what you're doing. See this first clip right there? I'm just going to delete that one because it was a short one. So that's the first one. Just make sure that you got them all. Here's another one over here. Make them all eight. We're just speeding it up eight times. Speed. Moving it up. And this is the same thing you would do with, move, with iMovie. You're, all you're doing is speeding up every single clip that I put up there. See how many clips I had up there? There was probably a total of, uh, I want to say eight clips. See that? So that's all of it. They're all speeded up right there. Okay. So now the, the whole movie now is a total of four minutes and eight seconds long. 36 seconds long. Which is still a long movie. Especially if it's going to be for... Um, but give you an example of how it runs now, okay? So now I'm gonna run it, and that's what it's speeding up. That's how what you guys see on TV. When I, well, I mean on, on Instagram. But let me show you guys what I do here now. So now I'll come here, and oh my. So now I'm, here's my. See, it shows all my other my other projects. Oops. Go back over there. Go back to the project. Okay. Edit it again. So there's my project again. So now I'm gonna do is add music to it. So now we're gonna add music to it, like I was just saying. So I'm gonna come here to my beats. These are my downloaded beats that I already have on here. And you guys could do the same. You guys could go to Inst to uh, YouTube and there's a lot of free music. Download it on your phone and you have all these beats on here. These I pay for, I use Epidemic Sound. I pay $15 a month. And there's a library of over 200,000 different songs and beats that I could use. So I just pick one of these. These I already have downloaded. See, so I could, I could listen to it. <laughs> See? So we have a total of four minute video. So what I what I do usually is I try to find a beat that's four minutes long, but there is no beats that are usually four minutes long, except this one right here. So right now for this video, I'm gonna show you guys, there's a, a beat right here, this one. It's called, uh, uh, ch uh, what is it called? Cello, cello Vibes, I think, whatever. So I'm gonna click that one, I'm gonna, and, and what I'm gonna do is, yeah, I'm gonna show it to you guys. It's pretty good little beat, but it's a six minute beat, so it'll cover the whole song. You can use two beats if you want and use two different ones, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna use this one, okay? So I'm gonna add that. So that throws it on there now. So now you wanna review your video, you can throw, review your video. And that's what the video that you guys usually see, okay? Now, if you guys wanna get more crazy with it, See every video, there's a little, see the little box right there? That's a transition. You could add a transition too. Click on that little box right there. Go right here. These are all transitions. These are all transitions. Okay, so say I wanna do a transition, I'll click on that little one right there and then I'll try and hit it there. Oops, there's my transitions. Say, let's go with a blur out, okay? So we'll do a blur out right there. And then on this one right here, we'll do a, We'll use that one. And if you want to review it, you want to see what it looks like, it, 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 you, can, you, you can review it, see? Oh. Well, we'll go to the next one, we'll just show that. The next one. So and then you can go back and review it. And watch what the transition look like right there. The transition is gonna be right there. Boom, that's the transition. Then you can put another transition there, you can put that one. Say we want to put that one, okay? You want to review it? Put a different one over here. We'll go to these ones. These ones are all right, that I downloaded. I like using these ones. These are flip over. They're different ones. You know what I mean? Like this one right here. This one's pretty cool. Try that one. Then you go back and review it again. Then you go to the next transition over here. And then you add another transition. We'll throw that one in there again. Then you can check it out. And say like right here, say you wanted to zoom in and get a better angle, you could click right there. The, that's the, the pencil is the edit button. And these are all the different things that you could edit with. So right here, I'm gonna go crop. And then what it does is it allows you to get closer. 
pinch it, bring it closer, center it like that. So now you can see what you're doing right there. And it gets it closer. So I'm just gonna add a bunch of transitions just to show you so you can see what the video looks like at the end. You know, I'm just gonna add different ones, make it look crazy looking. You gotta highlight it before you add the transition, okay? So all the different clips, I'm just gonna add a transition just to finish the video so that you guys can see how it looks. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna upload the video at the very end so you guys can see what the whole video look like, okay? So we're going right there. Add that. Uh, let's try that one. I haven't even seen that one. Okay, so then that's the end of the video, okay? So now if you want to, okay. So this video down here is that's the sound right there, okay? So that's too long. So what you want to do is bring it right there, click on it, and then cut it. See, it cuts it. Now that's a separate file. Now you can delete that file. Now the video ends at the end. See, it'll end right at the end. Oops. So we're just, that's gonna, the video's gonna look like. Now, if you wanna act real crazy and say you wanna throw in a boom go right there and then throw some text in there, and I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna show you guys a good one right here. Oops, somebody's texting me. Oops. Okay, so right there, we're gonna go right there, and okay, and then what I'm gonna do right there is I'm gonna add some text. Oh, go back there. That's the second one. That's like a secondary. You're gonna add stuff in the middle right there. So you're gonna add a text. Let's go this one. This one looks cool. So you click on that. That's where your 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 wording is gonna be. So I'm just gonna add right here. Big. Owls. And they're already up here, my things, because they are they already know who I am. I always use my phone right here, so barbershop. Council. Uh, barbershop. Okay, so then we're gonna change the light the, the wording. That's what it looks like right there. But what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna center it, and then I'm gonna use my own font that I always use on mine. And you can use any of these fonts, but this is a font that I always use, big owls right there. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color of it. I'm gonna edit it again. I'm gonna change it to, uh, let's go pink. And then we'll throw a little outline on it, a little white on it, open it up, bring it down right here on the bottom, okay? And then we're gonna stretch this out so it looks longer, so it lasts longer, okay? So this is what it's gonna look like right here. And you can add text anywhere you want. This is a hyperlapse video, guys. You guys can set it up however you want. See, it's right there, it's kind of in the way, so I'm gonna lower it. Maybe make it a little bit smaller, it's kind of big, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna make it a little smaller, put it right there, okay? So now we'll see it, check it out again. Guys, mind you that iMovie does the same thing you just gotta, you know, you gotta figure it out. I'm not too sure about iMovie. I'm not an i, I'm not an iPhone guy. This is, this is Droid, so this is what I use. But this is how I make my videos. You guys just seen how I make this quickly. All right. So from there, the video is completely done. All right. So now what you're gonna do is you gotta produce your video. Any video you create, you're using this app to create the video. So now you gotta create it. Okay. So what I do is I go right here, produce video, and I'm gonna save it. I don't go to share to save book or share. You can share it straight to Facebook if you wanted to, but I like to do is just save it to my gallery, and I'll do full HD, not ultra HD, because those files are really, really big. What I just use is full HD, and it starts producing. And right there, this could take anywhere from uh, I don't know. It just depends on how long your video. This video is not very long, so uh, this video probably you know it, it, it probably would take about maybe three or four or five minutes at the most. But, you know, and, and, and you just gotta let it sit. Sometimes I'll produce these videos and I'll start doing other things on my phone. I'll go to, you know what I mean, whatever it is, and I might, I'll just go over here, and, and then what I do is just go back and check on it. You can go back, like, I'll, I'll go check on my Instagram or whatever, and then um, I'll be on my Instagram, and then I can always go, that's my family right there. Then I'll go back and I'll check on the video, make sure that the video's still there, and it's still producing, see? 
and it's preparing. Once it gets to 100, it's still got to produce the video. So it's, it's about a five minute process. So that's pretty much it to do in the hyperlapse videos. Guys, after that video produces, as you guys can see right here, I still got it right here. It's still producing. Uh, it's, uh, right now it's at 12%. It takes about five. You know, depending on how long, some of my vlogs take up to 10 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes to, to produce. But once that video is on here, what I do with that video is I'll upload it to YouTube. Like this one, I'm gonna upload to IG, IGTV tonight because any video that's over one minute, then you gotta, you know. If you wanted to make this for a regular IG, then what I would do is after this video is produced, I'll, I'll throw it on my, my, my thing again. On, uh, I'll pull it up as a complete video and then I'll speed it up even faster and make it one minute long so I can throw it up on IG. But this one right here is a four minute video so it's good for IGTV or I usually throw it on my vlogs, speed it up some more so that way I don't waste too much time and then add a different beat to it. Uh, it, guys, oh my God, there's so much involved in this. If you guys, uh, if you guys only uh, understood, but don't get discouraged. I'm, in, I, I'm doing this video because I want you guys to understand that making these hyperlapse videos is so simple. It just takes a matter of process and getting used to it, getting in a rhythm of doing it, and, and anybody could do it. You guys could do it. I, I could do it. You guys could do it. Trust me, I'm a 50 year old man, and I'm doing this. So if I could do it, you could do it. You just gotta apply yourself. Learn the method. If you guys have any questions about how I did this video, I, I, it's pretty clear, guys. It's pretty clear, cut and clear. Look at it, go back, and check out how I'm doing. All you do is drop those videos in there. Remember, drop all your clips in there. Once you drop your clips in there, then you're gonna sh speed them all up, and it's gonna create a smaller video. Then you add some music to it. Don't be scared to do that. It, 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 they're fun to make, and, and they're great, great way of showing people how good you can cut hair because you know what posting a picture is one thing you know they don't know they don't know if you did that picture if, but if you post a video of you doing actual doing the work they can't deny it there's no way of denying it guys there's no denying it at all so keep that in mind um that's it for this video i hope man i'm, I'm excited about this video i think this video is going to be good i think this video is going to be good but hey guys that's it for today's vlog i appreciate you guys watching i appreciate you guys that they're always commenting you, you you guys out there that are you know that are keeping me going and and, and encouraging me uh uh can we give a couple of shout out a couple of shout outs to sask barber out there in canada hey bro i appreciate that message you guys sent me the other day uh, uh Congratulations on your shop, dude, and I hope you guys have the utmost success. I, you know, I, you know, I appreciate your message to me, saying that I encourage you, you know, and I, it, it, that, that means that means the world to me. Uh, Beeflo the barber, bro, you keep grinding, bro. You're out there in school, and I know you, you know, you need that equipment. Don't worry about that stuff right now, bro. Just get through school. School's the most important. Learn as much as you can. Document the way you can right now. Uh, and, and, and you know what, bro? When you start working, I guarantee you things are gonna come good to you. I guarantee you. Just keep grinding, keep grinding through it. That's what, this is what this business is all about. But with that being said, guys, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Uh, Tomorrow's Friday. I'll be here again. I'm going to be grinding, guys. With that being said, I'll see you guys mañana.